The weekend has landed. It is day eight of 10 days off. It's the final weekend. It's the last waltz. Let's make it special. Let's make it last. It is 10 days off. It is day eight and it is a fantasy sound label showcase tonight. Next to me now is label head honcho Errol Alcon. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Um, tell us a bit about your history with 10 Days Off. Well, um, I'm in slight dispute with Philippe about how many times I've played here because he thinks it's twice, but I think it's three times. So uh, I remember playing here with too many DJs, um, like 2002 maybe, 2003, I'm not too sure which one it was. And then again, um, in a different room upstairs around a few years after that. So, and it's my third time, I believe. But Philippe, I think Philippe, Philippe would, would know more than I, I do. But, uh, well, we'll run with three. Let's go three, yeah. So it is great to have you back. So um, about the festival, um, why is it, what is it about it that draws you back each time? Um, well, I've got a bit of a history with Ghent because I, Ghent was actually the first place I came to play outside of London when, um, when you had some parties here called Belmondo, which was, uh, I think that was around 2000, maybe. Yeah, 2000, I think it was. Um, and that again was through Solwax, two with DJs, when uh, uh, I invited them to my old club called Trash, and uh, they in return came back and they said, uh, you know, I should book this guy. And they did. And so, And I've been kind of, Ghent has been one of the places that I think I've traveled to the most back and forth thanks to uh, our wonderful Eurostar making it so easy. Your label is quite diverse label not just for DJs um, obviously coming from your your history from the 90s and with trash but tonight's sound is for DJs so can you define for us what the sound um, is for fantasy sound? It's constantly being redefined and it's maybe attracting new people to it, and maybe it's putting off old people from it or whatever. I just, uh, I think it's it's good to kind of embrace change, and I think um, surprise is, is is something that I like to um, have as an integral part of the label's aesthetic. What keeps you driven and inspired in your creativity to, to keep doing what you do? I don't really, I don't really um, feel like I'm uh, doing it to, 
to keep a kind of a career bubbling or anything, you know. It's like, it's just something that I just have to do, really. I, I don't know where it comes from. Well, thank goodness it comes from somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not. Sure. Yeah, I'm not. Sure. I'm sure where from. I don't know what it. You know, it's just. It's just there. Um, you know, it's a good thing. It could be a bad thing sometimes. So. Yeah. Well, tonight it's definitely a good thing because <laughs> you're back at uh, at ten days off, and it is the last waltz. So twenty years. It's. Uh, I heard that. It's a shame that you know because um, I you know I really love the um, you know the diversity of the lineups and. Um, and uh, yeah, it's. I think it's a it's a great thing that they're doing here. So it's a shame it's the last one, but if it means that it makes for a great party and a great send off, then then that's great. Well, it certainly makes for a great start to the weekend, being a Friday night and having you guys here. So thank you for taking the time to chat to us tonight, and it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. In the hot seat now here at DJ Sounds headquarters is Ghost Culture for day eight of 10 Days Off. Welcome to 10 Days Off. Hello, how are you doing? I'm really well, how are you? Very good, very good. You've just finished a, a great set down there tonight, did you have fun? Thank you, yeah it was great. Uh, the crowd seemed to know the music and seemed to know their, their thing and uh, I hope to just get people dancing for, for Dan really and for the set up the night. It's an important slot, the first first one, so yeah, it was, it was good fun. Let's talk a little bit about your relationship with, uh, with Errol and the, and the label. Sure, yeah, um, I uh, joined, I guess, the club last year um, in October, and um, since then I was, well, from then, I was actually quite new to DJing, and that was something that came about because of fantasy. And um, yeah, it's been it's been a great kind of journey, I guess. Um, I've been working on my album with Errol, and that's been very special. And he's he really helped me to finish it. And um, now that it's finished, it's it's a case of just you know getting it out there, getting it out, and yeah, and I'm. Very, um, very happy with the response so far to everything. And yeah, very, very pleased. And it's, I, I'm just very happy that I can do music every day. You're new to DJing, so so when did you first get behind the decks? Well, really, um, I mean, I've been doing small gigs in London for a few years, but really on on this kind of level, just just like since last year, I was I was probably I was thrusted into it with um, doing the warehouse project in Manchester last year. That was my first big, bigger kind of gig as a DJ. Um, but also, I'm I'm going to be doing a, a live show as Ghost Culture, and that's going to be a focus as well. This is Ghost Culture for ten days off.
We've got a great DJ set coming up for you now, so don't switch off. I'm going to leave you to it, but I will see you again tomorrow when Tale of Us return for 10 days off.
Come on, baby. 